So we focused on yesterday was writing inequalities and graphing them. <clears throat> and every time you solve an inequality, you really should be graphing it because there's not just one answer. There's always lots of possible answers with inequalities. So what we're focusing on today in our, <clears throat> excuse me, in the, um, the tab that we just looked at, the objective for 1, 6 is I can write and solve compound inequalities. Today's examples are focusing on the solving part. So we're going to first do an example for or inequalities. <clears throat> and often with or inequalities, you end up with an inequality with the word or and the other inequality. The reason they're together, they're going to get put on the same graph. That's what makes them a compound inequality. But we solve them just like we've been solving equations. We're going to look at this and realize there's an exponent here, constant, constant, and because there's no like terms on each side of the inequality, we can start moving them to be together. So we're going to start with what? We're going to add the 7. We get 5x is less than 20. Next up will be 2. Divide by 5. It's a, a positive number, so will anything change with the symbol? So x is less than 4. Now we're going to solve the other inequality. Same steps. What are we dividing by this time? Negative 4. Negative four. Because we're dividing by negative 4, what's going to happen to our symbol? So I end up with negative 2. To show that you're done, it's good to go back and put the word that makes it a compound. And then I like to box it off from all the work. And then we're going to graph this. What do you notice about the symbols for those two? They are both facing the same way. This is a rare compound inequality where the graph lines are both going to go in the same direction. What's true about this one is x is less than negative 2. What's true about this one? x is less than negative 2, negative 5. He meant 4. Four, yeah. And this 4 is not going to stop at the negative 2. It's going to keep going and go all the way through it. <clears throat> if it was only x is less than negative 2, then we would have negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 800. Any number that's less than negative 2 would make this part of the inequality true. But because we also have this one, it's really any number less than 4. And because of this one and the word or, even negative 2 makes this compound inequality true. Is negative 2 less than 4? Yes. So even though it's a circled out for this part of it, because this is part of it, negative 2 can be one of our solutions. Which is, it's pretty rare that they run both the same direction, but it does happen. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to turn off the recording in a minute and have you guys try to solve this and then I will show you my work so we can compare. I will also leave pictures of my work at Classroom or in Google Classroom.